Hey folks, uh, here's the uh, block of plate uh, we did in a hurry. <laughs> and yeah, I had uh, I had a significant loss of power since the head gasket, and I knew because I could hear it. Uh, there was a boost leak or something similar, so we checked all the boosts. It wasn't that, and uh, so I figured maybe I'm losing on the exhaust side. And look, will you look at that? Yeah, definitely leaking. So basically, the uh, the back pressure is enough to uh, bend this plate. And once it does, well, you're losing all the, all the back pressure. You need to spool the turbo because I couldn't hear the turbo spool. Well, not enough. I went to, uh, as you saw in the other video, I went to my machinist and uh, he hooked me up with uh, some car and steel. So I'm gonna reheat. I'm gonna re redraw the uh, the flange and uh, cut it back, and we're gonna try the quarter inch, and that should be a uh, plenty. Otherwise, I can always uh, switch to three eight or half inch, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Uh, this this quarter inch looks pretty beefy. So yeah, you well, we can see the burn mark. You can see where it was uh, coming out of here and there. So yeah, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, so um, that's probably gonna solve my problem because that's uh, pretty obvious. You couldn't see it from uh, with it bolted to uh, to the truck, but yeah, like this, yeah, we can uh, definitely see it. Yeah. So I got some quarter inch plate from my machinist, as you saw in the other video, and I'm gonna cut some new ones in there, and that's gonna be it.
I got a little bit carried away with the saw, but uh, yeah, I got my plate here, so we're gonna test fit it. Basically, as long as I can get get it to line up with the uh, gasket, it should be good. Need water here, yeah. And the gaskets, but 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 before I put it on, I'm gonna give it a light sanding to get all the all the crap. Just gonna get it clean. Just before I do it, I'm gonna clean the gasket because there's a lot of rust and uh, and soot that the got in between us. You know, just making sure that it seals good afterwards. With the metal gasket, I just put it in, so uh, I can reuse it. There's no problem with that. Just that the uh, the other plate was not. It was only uh, hitting the edges. So maybe if if it had been a little bit uh, taller, it would have worked. But even there, I can see there's a curve in the. Uh, in the metal, so probably not thick enough. Anyway, if you look up the EGR Delete kits, uh, I guess they use 3.8 aluminium, so a quarter inch steel should be good. Mm, it's already looking a little better. There you go, quite a bit better, huh? So we're gonna test fit it on the bolts. I know my bolts are little, they are a little bit oversized, but it simplifies the matter of putting it on the truck because it keeps the bolt in. So all you have to do is slide it in and uh, deal with the other ones. So yeah, it does fit pretty good so I shouldn't have any problems yeah. there we go and that should be a little bit more substantial to hold the gases in and a little bit of an angle here but I don't think that'll matter yeah and the gasket fits for that, so, so so now it's time to clean up, try it on, and go for a bit of a drive, and I'll report back afterwards.